<laughs> hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan and I've had too much coffee. It's late, NDAs are short and I'm trying to get as many videos done for you as possible. That's why I've had lots of coffee. Anyway, Z690, carbon Wi-Fi. Lots of blue on the board, which is kind of unlike because I'm used to MSI being red. But anyway, the board is there. The information that they sent me is here, which is handy because it means they've actually done some work, unlike some of the other brands. <gasps> Deep breaths. Anyway, inside the box, because I am going to whiz through this, but comes with a handy cleaning tool. <laughs> Little brushes. Nice. I reckon this is actually really soft. I think some of your girlfriends could do their makeup with that. That would be funny. Anyway, we have a Wi Fi 6E antenna don't forget you need supporting hardware at home to get the uh, most from it then there are a lot of cables inside you get a normal uh, four pin rgb uh, splitter and extender so it basically turns one into two and it's got big and long there's an extension cable for the corsair header that's on there there is a um <coughs> addressable header extension there are a couple of sata cables there are uh, all there is, with correct grammar, um, a couple of screwdrivers on a key ring. So you get a Phillips one and you get a, a flat one. And if you end up putting these on your key rings and you watch this video, tweet me about it. And then in a month's time when you're still tweeting me about it, uh, I'm going to remember that I actually mentioned this in a video and I think it'll be quite funny. So if you end up buying one of these boards and you get one of these, I'd like to see your keys. Not if you drive a Ferrari. Uh, lovely thing to see, although I've not opened it yet, is a, because I've not built it yet, uh, is we have, even though it's a uh, not an expensive board as such, it's lower in the range, but you get a USB driver. Uh, CD. Don't forget though, these, the drivers on this will get out of date, so it's good practice to keep uh, up to date. It would be nice. MSI, here is an idea. Plug in this. It pops up a little bit of software on your PC, update drivers on USB, bish bash boss, it does it for you. Lovely jubbly magic. Be good if it did it all automatically, wouldn't it? Anyway, so, board itself, carbon. Although, with all due respect, there's some digitally bits down here, which look nice, but there are only carbony bits up here. And I know you wouldn't want real carbon, but I just wish this was carbon as well. I like carbon fiber. Yes, there's a little splash of it here. I would have preferred more, because it's, it's, it, it's okay, but it's a bit bland, and it's carbon, I want more carbon. I like carbon. I'm going to stop saying carbon because carbon is good. Carbon is life. Anyway, two eight pins up here. Uh, we've got a, um, a thermal header here. You can plug one of the wires from in the box. Then you do get, uh, there's a CPU fan here and a pump fan here and then you've got another fan header here. RGB here. You've got the little light readouts here so you can see what stage of the post is. The bottom one is boot, then it's VGA. Then you've got DDR for memory and then CPU is the top, which will be the first one. This header here is an onboard one for Corsair, which is kind of nice. There you go, you can see because I've zoomed in. As we zoom around, USB 3, USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2, six SATAs on the side, down on the bottom, another RGB, couple of uh, thermal headers here, front panel stuff, fan headers. Three fan headers here. Coming along, another fan header. USB, two internal USBs. This is a magic cable for me to be able to power the RGBs on the board without a uh, actual like full system going on. Then you've got another RGB connector here. LED switch down the bottom. More RGB here. Audio up the side. Now, if I put this down, this is with the, all the heat sinks for the NVMEs on, but because I've had to take pictures for the website, this is the, it with them off. So you can see, you can see that you've got uh, thermal pads and everything hidden underneath. You can see that you've got quite a few going on. Also, just hidden up here is another fan header. 
Now, round the back, lots of SATAs. You do get a DisplayPort and a HDMI if you're going to be using onboard video. If you have a dedicated graphics card, you don't need to worry about these, although they can be handy if your graphics card ever dies or you're fault finding. 2.5 gig Ethernet, USB-C, lots of USB 3.2 Gen 2s down here. Here's for your Wi-Fi, audio out on the back. You can find lots more specific details like the audio chip that they've used and the codex and everything on the OC3D website because you can click that link underneath. I just wanted to make sure that I did get a, a good whiz round though, but just so that you're aware, 18 plus one plus one power phases. It's direct 18 phases and they're 75 amp per phase. So 75 amp each, 18 of them uh, for the CPU and then plus one plus one because you have one for SOC and then have one for memory. So uh, 75 uh, amps each for each of those. That's a fair amount of power. There's also, if you have a look, a lot of heat sink going on around. Lots of cutouts, lots of surface area. Surface area means cooling. Um, so all of these things make me wonder whether the VRMs might get hot. They've even put vents in at the top here. So when your board is built, when you think about it, the uh, heat from underneath this can ventilate outwards because this is a plastic top, like totally plastic, covering up this. So you can see the fact, although uh, on a lot of graphics cards, there'll be a little vent here that's meant to be able to blow out. So you might, you might inadvertently, through those vents there, get GPU heat coming up here. So I'm not sure that that's such a good idea, but you know, we'll see anyway. But I don't have prices yet because it's too soon. Uh, but there are there is a lot of information here. Look, this is what they've sent me. You can just pause. You'll be able to work it out. We will be doing a full review of it later on. Yes, I has rushed through this. It's because I'm trying to get so many boards done for preview, but within good time because I obviously don't have a lot of time before the main NDA for the full reviews. And it takes me a few days to be able to do this stuff. So uh, I actually don't have enough time already, which is why I'm rushing. So please uh, take my apologies, but I wanted to make sure I shared this stuff with you as early as I possibly could and make sure that you guys got to see all the cool stuff to give you a bit of a uh, wetter, to, you know, wet the appetite before the main reviews on the 4th. So please come back, take a look. Lots of other previews on the channel if you would go and like to go and have a look. But for now at least, this has been the tiniest one after having way too much coffee. Out.